everyone, I'm Becca with Imagine If Libraries and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool dinosaur egg that you can melt um, after it's been in the freezer. So if you have seen Anne's um, story time on dinosaurs, at the end of that she shows you a really cool ice egg that she made. So today I'm just going to get, share with you some tips for making that. If you come to the library after September 9th, you can pick up a dinosaur takeout story time and inside the bag, you will find a balloon, a dinosaur toy skeleton, and a pipette. And these are all things that you can use um, when you're making this dinosaur egg and then hatching it. So to begin with, the first thing you have to do is get that dinosaur toy inside your balloon. So I found that if you blow it up a few times to get it stretched out, that helps a lot. And then um, you're gonna open it up as much as you can and have somebody stick that dinosaur inside. Perfect. After you've done that, you're ready to fill your balloon up with water. And it works best if you attach it to a sink. You need that water pressure um, to really expand the balloon as much as possible. I found that just using a funnel and a water bottle did not work. So we're gonna take this to the sink and I'll show you that. Okay, so we're gonna attach the balloon here to the sink and turn it on slowly, holding the top there. And as you can see, it's gonna fill up and expand so you can make it as big as you'd like, um, as long as you don't make it too big and it explodes all over the place. But I see the water level here. I'm gonna let it go up a little bit more All right, I think that looks good. I'm gonna carefully take it off and tie it. All right, it's ready to go in the freezer. All right, so you are now ready to put your dinosaur egg in the freezer. You'll let that freeze overnight, and then um, when you're ready to, you can cut cut the top of the balloon with scissors, peel it off, and you'll be ready to melt that dinosaur egg to get to the dinosaur inside. We have a pipette in the bag for you to use. Um, you wanna use warm water, because that will help the process go a little bit faster. Um, but you could also try squeezing a sponge into warm water and dripping it over the egg, or maybe a spray bottle filled with warm water. Both of those would um, be fun to use and see which one works the fastest. All right, we hope to see you soon. Have fun with this dinosaur egg.